Hello everyone, welcome to part 2 of the Zero Jump series. Part 1 is in the description if you don't know what is happening. So, yesterday and today, sadly, we did Sound Kingdom and Night Kingdom. But it was really rough. It was really annoying. I did lots of mistakes. Let's just show you the video. So, we start by rolling down uh, to the dust around the town and get up here. And sadly, I missed the bird, so I couldn't really get the moon. And uh, I just went for this one instead. I got this moon first try, but uh, messed it up a few tries uh, when trying to get the moon. So that was disappointing. So what's this bird I'm talking about? In Star Kingdom, a bird goes around like the whole entire kingdom and it has a moon. So if you hit it, you'll be able to get a move from it. And it's right here. And I actually just barely got it. We did it notice I did an up throw and it homed into the bird. And because it, it was just floating up there, I wasn't really able to get it so easily. So I had to go up here and jump my way up with Cappy like that. Which actually took an extremely long time. When I could have just done this, it's not even that difficult, doing what the trash. The next moon is I'm just doing over here, but because of literal trash of this game, it could be a minute 30 seconds to get the moon. <laughs> like, I just don't understand. Now this moon, you might think that it is like basically impossible because you can't really get your cap up here. So we can jump off of it, but you can. It's very really easy actually. You just have to go down here on this pillar, and in the end, you'll be able to get up like that and get the moon. Easy. Okay, I'm not really gonna explain every single moon and death. I wanna get this quickly done, and uh, don't mind that death. That, that, that I just said death again. Um, let's just get through this all quickly now. Was it another minute before I figured out you could just go here and then throw your cap and get up here? This moon, that moon. I'm trying to go to the Sphinx, but then I decided I had to jump, so uh, yeah. Okay, talking time. So you see those coins? Yeah, that was what I said death at the beginning. So I was actually trying to get the moon in the alcove or whatever it's called. And that moon is super difficult, because if you touch the quick side once, then you're stuck and you're gonna die. And so I try to avoid quicksand at all costs. Cause if I touch it, I'm gone. So this moon is kind of difficult, but I got it after a long time. I also got this moon here. And now let's watch Mario die like a billion and a half times trying to get this moon. Whoops, never mind. I forgot that I had to go get that moon. I mean, I actually gave up and decided to go get this moon first. I didn't horribly miss it, lol. And now look at this, barely getting that moon. Oh my goodness, it's so smooth. Oh my goodness, it's so clean. I don't know what else to say. I'm so good. Okay, we're back here. So, I think it's time to watch Mario die a little trillion and a half times. Oops, never mind, I actually got the moon this time. But I had to die right afterwards, haha. <laughs> when coming into here, I was thinking if I was actually able to jump. And then I shook my controller, and it's all good. Cause I never forgot I can jump like that. Sadly, I, I died. So, uh, that's, 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 I don't even want to say it, it's just insane. Just get job speed, I just don't want to say. Okay, so we're here and got this moon because, you know, I actually went in here because I was trying to get some extra moons because I didn't really know where are good moons. And now we're able to get this moon and now let's see which moons I get. I had to roll for a very long while and then I got this and then I captured the thing again and I didn't actually know you could just walk into it lol. So, uh, yeah. Bird's moon, but it actually took forever because birds hate it when you come and grab it under a dune. I spent the next few weeks waiting for the music tab, but uh, then I went up the palm tree and I saw that um, 
I could actually get off of it without jumping. And so I had to reload the file and uh, come back here and uh, get it again, lol. Okay, now I have to get the moon. So, uh, from a cap, missed, from a cap, missed, from a cap, landed here somehow, grabbed on the ledge, incredible. It fell off, had to get back up, and finally I got it in the right spot. It took a long time. And now, we're finally off to Lake Kingdom, and not wooded, because Lake, I don't know, I just do Lake before wooded. And then disaster struck. I was skipping cutscenes and a jump. And so I had to waste about half an hour of my life literally actually restarting the whole entire run just to get back to Lake Kingdom. And we now have some proof that I actually did that attempt because then I need to four clips around stuff like this one. That's cool, isn't it? fish and get this spoon over here now I'm gonna go to the pillar and get this one and now I had a completely different route which actually did not work whatsoever I gave myself a challenge which was I'm not actually allowed to fight the boss which easily gives you three moons but my route without doing that was an actual disaster because every single moon I came up with I had to use an NPC, and I had to press A, which is illegal. I was not gonna get this moon because, uh, you know, Captain tells me you have to press A. I wasted so much time looking for moons to try to do something, which I don't know exactly what I was doing. And my A button that I had to reconfigure, I made it minus, which minus I forgot is the map button. And the map button is the only way I can actually get out. And so. I had to remap it so that the A button would be a completely different button, which I basically never use. So, that's what happened, and now we get to continue. Okay, new plan! Go up here, and um, try to get the checkpoint without dying to Goomba somehow. And now we're gonna try to get this music note, Moon. But, um, I'm kind of trash at that moon, so I couldn't get that one. I got this one in the box, and I didn't really know what to do, actually. Then I remember this room. Thing is, this room took forever, and I actually don't finish it, because I'm trash at stuff I don't do normally. So, the original moon just gave up. This also going to give up, and... I wasted way too much time in this room. And so my brain decided, okay, I'm gonna give myself a break. We're not gonna try to beat it without doing the boss. We're just gonna do the boss and save like a billion seconds. Well, actually, before I did that, I decided that maybe I should try to get the treasure moon here. Um, they don't really go so well. Oh, and then I jumped by mistake somehow. So I had to reset the kingdom again. This one actually have a backup file. 
So I can see you as normal, and uh, I don't even know what I was thinking when I went in here. And that because I'm so good at this game. I wasted six minutes trying to get to the boss fight, which is actually incredible. And then you're dumb and you're actually wondering about the fight? Basically normal. I was actually also able to get that little cold strat, which saves uh, some time, which is not done as speedruns. Um, so, I got that. I finished him off, got the moon, left this trash, and went to Wooded Kingdom, which is going to be finishing off the episode. And don't worry, I actually did the backup file. I actually saved it. Don't worry, now I'm not going to have to reset the whole entire run. Yay! Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, just like it because I want to know if you liked it. And maybe also write a comment if you're not nice. And if you want to be the first to see the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll be the first. Or at least one of the first. Or at least one of the last. I don't know. Depends on when you want to look at it. But thanks again. Goodbye. Happy New Year for those people. And goodbye once again.